When I was younger, I had a lug nut toy that I got from the McDonald's Kids Meal Set, and I actually really liked it. Maybe it's because of how awesome Lugnut was and animated. I'm not sure what happened to him over the years. I may have lost him or sold him or broke him. I don't know. Anyway, it happens. He's gone. And about two years ago, I was pining after another Lugnut figure that I wanted it to be semi-proper. But I couldn't get an actual proper one. So what I did was I just customized one from a Fall of Cybertron Blastoff. And that worked out pretty well. But I don't know what happened to him either. So what was I to do now in my early 20s with a job and everything? Well, I figured I'd go with the only Lugnut toy that I'd actually consider paying top dollar for. Yes indeed guys, this is Reveal the Shield Lugnut. I was so lucky to find this guy on the Facebook group that I'm a part of, and he was being sold at such a good price. So if the seller by chance is watching this, somehow, then thank you so much sir, you are the man, I really appreciate you. This guy is so much better than the animated guy in almost every single way. He's got really good articulation, his head actually moves, and one of my favorite features ever, he has an opening mouth. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If the character has a predominantly large jaw, they need an opening mouth gimmick. That's why I like my Prime Voyager bulkhead so much. And this guy can square up with him. Give yourself a big battle of the Bruce with those two. One thing where I think the animated guy actually beats him though is in the colors. This guy more or less has sort of a militaristic look with some bits of purple and cyan everywhere. But the animated guy just looks so beautiful. The color scheme was one of the best parts of that toy. If there's a custom of this guy that actually has him in animated colors, I would love to see. Because it probably looks awesome. Speaking of colors, I think this guy actually has the better color scheme between this and the Takara version of this toy. It's like Fall of Cybertron Skywarp all over again. Hasbro just did it better. That's just my opinion, but Hasbro did it better. So this guy doesn't really come with many accessories, so what does he come with? Well, he comes with a couple of superfluous gimmicks that one of them I'll get into in vehicle mode. But one of them I'll get into right here. Push a button on his forearm and it makes it extend a little. If you fold up his individually articulated fingers and put them into a fist, it can kind of act like a punching gimmick. I don't know, it's kind of a superfluous gimmick that I'm not really that big of a fan of, but, you know, it's there. This is such a good toy that we can honestly overlook that because there are so many other good things. Like I mentioned, individually articulated fingers. This guy's just amazing. Now, you may have noticed while I was doing the punch gimmick that I actually put some Decepticon logos on each of his arms. But on the regular toy, he doesn't come with these. He actually comes with a rub symbol that goes on this arm. But that rub symbol has since made way for my Leia's custom. So there's so many other things that I would love to talk about with this guy, but... Since this review is really late, everyone else has already done it. So if you want to see some other cool things about this guy, you can go check out one of my favorite reviews on this guy. So that's one mode down. Let's check out the vehicle mode. Oh boy, that's a good transformation. And check out this plane. This thing's got some freaking wingspan on it. Look at how long it is compared to my shoulders. I love that he has his name plastered all over himself like he's some kind of vain prick. Not sure how I feel about the monster mouth, but you know, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. And again, the Decepticon symbols rocking on each end of the wing. The reason that I decided to go with regular Decepticon symbols instead of the Reveal the Shield symbols is Lugnut seems like the kind of guy who wouldn't want to hide that he's a Decepticon. He's a really big Megatron fanatic, and it seems like he'd want to wear the Decepticon badge with pride. Not only in the vehicle mode, but on both of his fists. And this is one of the best figures that manages kibble in all the Transformers. Like, you can't really tell what's what. Now, I mentioned in robot mode that he has another gimmick. And that is this thing back here that you can rotate down. It comes with a little red missile that kind of fires through this thing, but it's put away in a bag and I don't feel like getting it out. You all know how firing missile gimmicks work. Anyway, you can rotate this down and have it fire downward, or you can rotate this back end and have it go like that. Why would you do this? Just don't mess with it. And these two little articulated guns up here at the front are really cool as well. Just, this thing is so great. I'm so thrilled that I have this figure in my collection. And in all honesty, it's one of the best that I've got this year. So, thanks to the seller for selling me this. And thank you all for watching. Another review from me. This has been Zero One Transvan D number one. I'll talk to you all next time. Take it easy, guys.